The year is 2025, and among the world's most enduring and respected fighter aircraft, the F-16 Fighting Falcon still stands tall. Despite its first flight taking place decades ago, this single-engine multirole fighter has continued to evolve through constant upgrades, keeping it relevant in the modern battlefield where stealth, speed, and precision define aerial dominance. In today's detailed breakdown on EVN Ride, we dive deep into the legacy, modernization, and the 2025 configuration of the F-16, exploring why it continues to be one of the most widely used and trusted fighter jets across the globe. The F-16 was born in the 1970s under the U.S. Air Force's lightweight fighter program, designed to be agile, affordable, and deadly efficient. From the start, it offered something revolutionary, a bubble canopy for superior visibility, sidestick control for precision maneuvering, and a frameless cockpit that gave pilots unmatched awareness in dogfights. Its fly-by-wire control system was also groundbreaking at the time, making the aircraft extremely maneuverable without compromising safety. These features allowed it to outmaneuver many of its rivals in air combat exercises, quickly proving its worth. Fast forward to 2025, and the Fighting Falcon has been reimagined with the most advanced technologies available today. While many new stealth fighters like the F-35 Lightning II dominate headlines, the latest F-16 configurations prove that older designs, when continually upgraded, can remain formidable. The newest production version, often referred to as the F-16 Block 70 70 Seconds or Viper Upgrade, represents the peak of decades of refinement. This aircraft carries modern radar, advanced avionics, expanded weapons capabilities, and powerful electronic warfare systems. One of the most significant enhancements is the introduction of the APG-83 AESA radar. This radar gives the 2025 F-16 the ability to detect, track, and engage multiple targets at long ranges with incredible accuracy. Unlike the older mechanically scanned radars, the AESA system provides higher resolution, faster target updates, and greater resistance to jamming. This means that in the electronic warfare-heavy environment of modern conflicts, the F-16 can still see first and shoot first. The radar also enables ground mapping at high resolutions, giving pilots precise information for strike missions. In terms of avionics, the cockpit has been upgraded to match 21st century standards. Pilots now sit in front of large, high-definition color displays that combine data from sensors, radar, and targeting pods into an intuitive interface. This reduces workload and allows for quicker decision-making in the heat of combat. Helmet-mounted queuing systems further enhance this capability, allowing pilots to lock onto targets simply by looking at them. This feature is particularly effective in short-range dogfights, giving the F-16 pilot a lethal edge. The aircraft's weapon suite in 2025 is more versatile than ever. It can carry beyond visual range air-to-air -air missiles like the AIM-120 AMROM, close-range infrared missiles such as the AIM-9X Sidewinder, and precision-guided bombs like JDAMs and small-diameter bombs. Anti-ship missiles, electronic warfare pods, and reconnaissance gear can also be fitted, making the F-16 a true multirole platform. The ability to switch roles from air superiority to ground attack within a single sortie makes the Fighting Falcon extremely valuable to air forces that require flexibility at lower costs compared to stealth jets. Powering the 2025 version is an improved engine, such as the General Electric F110, G132 or Pratt & Whitney F100, PW229, depending on the variant. These engines push the jet to speeds beyond Mach 2 with impressive acceleration. Combined with its lightweight frame and advanced aerodynamics, the F-16 remains one of the most agile fighters ever built. Even though newer aircraft emphasize stealth, agility remains critical in close combat, and the F-16 still outperforms many rivals in that area. The survivability of the F-16 in modern warfare has also been significantly enhanced. Electronic warfare systems now allow the aircraft to detect incoming threats, jam enemy radars, and deploy countermeasures automatically. Advanced data links like Link 16 connect the fighter to a broader battlefield network, enabling real-time coordination with other aircraft, ground forces, and command centers. In 2025, Warfare is no longer just about the capabilities of one aircraft but about integration into a connected digital battlespace, and the F-16 excels here thanks to continuous upgrades. 
Globally, the Fighting Falcon continues to serve as the backbone of many air forces. More than 25 countries still operate the jet, and many of them are receiving the latest 2025 upgrades. Nations like Taiwan, Greece, Slovakia, Bahrain, and Bulgaria have invested in the Block 70 70 seconds version, while older operators like the United States continue to upgrade their fleets for training, homeland defense, and partner operations. For countries that cannot afford or are not allowed access to fifth-generation fighters, the upgraded F-16 provides a cost-effective and powerful alternative. One of the biggest reasons the F-16 has survived into 2025 is its affordability. Compared to the F-35, which costs significantly more per unit and per flight hour, the F-16 remains economical. This lower operating cost means that air forces can fly more training sorties, maintain larger fleets, and still have access to cutting-edge technology. For many nations, this balance of performance and price makes the Fighting Falcon unbeatable. Beyond its hardware, the legacy of the F-16 also contributes to its relevance. Over four decades of combat experience, from the skies of the Middle East to exercises across Europe and Asia, have shaped its evolution. Pilots and engineers worldwide understand its strengths and weaknesses deeply, and this institutional knowledge ensures safe and effective operation. With every conflict, lessons have been applied, resulting in the highly refined 2025 version. Critics often question whether an aircraft designed in the 1970s can remain effective against stealth fighters and modern air defense systems. The answer lies in its role. While stealth aircraft penetrate the most heavily defended airspace, F-16s provide critical support by handling large numbers of missions such as air patrols, strike missions, and close air support. Their versatility and numbers complement the fewer but more expensive stealth aircraft. Essentially, in 2025, the F-16 is not trying to replace fifth-generation jets but rather to operate alongside them, filling gaps and providing force multiplication. Looking closer at the modernization packages, one of the standout features is the new structural reinforcement that extends the service life of the jet to over 12,000 flight hours. This is remarkable for an airframe that was never expected to fly this long when it was first designed. Combined with digital upgrades and enhanced maintenance techniques, the F-16s produced today could remain in service well into the 2040s. The future battlefield also demands adaptability in electronic warfare, and the F-16 meets that need with open architecture avionics. This allows new systems and software to be integrated quickly without needing complete redesigns. In 2025, cyber warfare threats are real, and fighter jets must adapt fast. The F-16's modular systems ensure it can continue to evolve in real time, keeping pace with adversaries. In addition to combat effectiveness, the F-16 is known for its ease of maintenance. Unlike some newer aircraft that require specialized facilities, the Fighting Falcon was designed with simplicity in mind. Its components are accessible, and its global supply chain ensures parts are readily available. This makes it attractive not only for wealthy nations but also for smaller air forces seeking reliability without overburdening logistics systems. Training has also advanced in 2025. Virtual reality, augmented reality, and AI-driven simulators allow pilots to train in complex scenarios before stepping into the real jet. The F-16's wide adoption means that pilot training programs are standardized across many nations, creating a shared foundation that strengthens allied cooperation. In NATO exercises, for example, multiple nations can fly their F-16s together seamlessly because of this common platform. In combat scenarios, the F-16 has proven its worth time and again. From engaging enemy fighters to precision strikes on ground targets, it has adapted to countless missions. In the 